Optimus Prime, Prime, Prime Reviews. Greetings, kids. I am Optimus Prime, and this is the awesome Battle Tanker upgrade. And as you can see, I am awesome. Normally, I don't waste my time with the packages anymore, but it is me. So let's take a look at how awesome I am. Here I am in awesome mode. There's the tanker. There's me. And there's more of me in there. The awesomeness of me. Go ahead and take it all in. I realize it's a lot to take at one time. Wait, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh. And there it is. Awesomeness Prime. And all of its awesomeness. It's got this great image here as well. Pretty fancy stuff. There's some Spanish here. I don't read Spanish. If I uh, understand human language, it says Optimus Prime is awesome. So here's all the cool stuff that comes in the package. As you can see, awesome shoulder parts or arm pieces. Giant guns, some crotch pieces, jealous. My beautiful head, oh yeah, looking good. My hands, Yes, they are that big. My trailer, my awesome legs, some other cool stuff. Now let's put it all together and see what happens. And just like in the animated movie, I'm getting screwed. And as you can see, there are some minor changes have to be made. And no, that hole does not mean I'm a female. You have to remove the smaller crutch to make room for the big one. Oh yeah. The crotch piece simply just fastens on to those three pegs here. And booyah. The upgrade armor hands are self-explanatory. You simply slide the handle for the big hand into the smaller hand. And the arm piece snaps onto that small handle with the claw and wraps around. Meets up together with the small peg. Make sure the flap is down. Rotate the hand back up. And there you go. Now we have a fully armed and operational battle station. Wait, that's the wrong movie. The leg pieces are fairly simple. You simply fold the foot until it locks into location here. Make sure this piece is fastened up. You just slide it down into that location right there. And make sure the wheel lines up and the foot lines up. If you have them in the correct location, these blue pieces will latch into the hole on the foot. And there you go. One awesome leg. You can leave these weapons off. I think they look better on. Just my opinion. Yeah, that's some kick -A weaponry. The backpack, you simply slide those two engines onto these two pegs here. And then fold these around till they snap in place. Ta-da! Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! This piece goes around. Insert the handle into Prime's hand. Top down goes a little smoother. That's what she said. I'm on fire. I don't have to have flames to on fire. Slide that down. Insert his awesome sword and you're done. I have the power! I really do have the power. And here's his light up sword. Give me sight beyond sight. Thunder, thunder, thunder prime. Ho! Okay, so not my best joke. As you can see, the entire sword doesn't completely light up. Mainly just the hilt. But it's okay. Pretty cool. I have a feeling this battery won't last very long. And I'm not sure I enjoy the Ghostbuster cable hanging down from the back very well. And here he is in awesome mode. I gotta say, my only drawback is that I miss the light up eyes. But other than that, he still re retains his motion. He can rotate it 360 degrees and apparently drop his sword. Epic fail. My defense, it's not on there very well. Barely rests. He rotates at the elbow of her arm and it bends at the elbow as well as rotates at the wrist, just ever so slightly back and forth. 
not completely 360 degrees. His head will go up and down and rotate, but the pattern pops up easily. His head's kind of tight. That's what she said. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm getting the hang of this humor thing. He rotates at the waist, but only halfway because of the new crotch piece, which makes me look awesome. Up and down at the legs, rotates at the legs, pretty much the same, and bends at the knee. But watch more parts want to pop loose. Still, it's got a good range of motion. The ankle, no, got an ankle pivot. His heel goes up and down and his toes go up and down. He has difficulty standing very well, though. Doesn't want to stay perfectly straight up and down. Still, I like these missile pieces on the side here. I think that gives him some girth. You know what I'm talking about. And here in the back, so he looks with the flames. Jeez, with the flames, seriously. Michael Bay helped design this toy. I like the jetpack. Looks very nice. You can see his exposed, my exposed arms underneath the backside. Not very flattering. But as long as you pose him in the front, it'll be okay. I prefer him with the sword other than the other accessories. But the big guns, they are pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Now the battle tanker part, I'm not so fond of. Because it's big bulky and it just gets in the way. That's what she said. Oh, I'm on a roll. I'll roll out. I won't go into too many details about the battle tanker. I mean, it's just slipping and sliding. That's basically all. And you just attach these suckers to the side. There's the handle here on the side here. And the other handle. And he can wear this thing like an ultra armor cannon shooter thing. But I'm not a big fan. The part I do like though, I like the I like the sight. That's kinda nice. Come get some. Personally, I really don't care how the trailer goes on, because I think the trailer looks stupid. But seriously, this looks like weapons out of Sucker Punch. So no matter which way you put it on, regardless of this is right or wrong, I really don't care. So don't correct me in the comments. But if you want to make him look like he has a ginormous gun from an anime movie, there you go. I think it looks better without the extra bulk. It looks good with a sword and good with a weapon. Take this piece of crap and throw it away. For size comparison, it takes a lot of work to make a deluxe figure the size of a Voyager, so I've got to hand it to him there. Still, it's not as tall as the Classic Generations Prime, and it's not as simple as the Fence Project Protector Armor is for Hot Rod. That guy is always getting the better end of the stick. And other than the ability to make turns, it looks like Hot Rod wins again. And that's pretty much it. I like the armor, I don't like the truck part. That part's crap, this part's cool. And if you want to see all the extra detail bullcrap uh, about the accessories and whatnot, watch someone else's review that gives a crap. And as always, subscribe for more awesomeness. Insert shameless ravage the ends of Get off my channel!